All right, we're taking the steps off today. Got some more update on the renter next door. Called the cops on me the other day. Didn't like my loud truck. The cops come over. They could not even get the guy's information because he was so worked up. Long story short, he said that since he calls them all the time and they don't take care of anything, that he's going to come over and beat my ass and take care of it himself. This guy's about five foot six, 140 pounds maybe. I'm about six feet tall and 175, which I know that stuff doesn't really matter. But anyway, he, he's so he's so stupid. He even told the cops that he already had his $500 bail money. And he knows that he needs this sort of stuff because he's been arrested probably 15 times from what I've seen. Anyway, that's what's going on with that guy. We're gonna take off the steps today. I ordered some parts. We got some parts coming. Uh, some kind of dress up, dress up the motor a little bit, dress up the, the front end a little bit. So exciting stuff to do today. Much better. One other reason I wanted to do that was because I don't think anybody's really been able to see the rust well. And so I wanted people to be able to see that a lot better. So now that that little uh, flange isn't sticking out right here, I think everyone's going to really be able to appreciate the rust that's on it. What's that? He said, do I want to take a picture of him? Give me the finger and masturbate to it. The pervert. We got some boxes. Had a couple of deliveries the other day. I got some spark plug ignition wires. I actually got those put on yesterday. Threw them on real quick. The length is okay on some of them. Some of them are a little too long. Got to kind of swap some back and forth. But for the most part, they are on and they're good to go. Truck fires up very, very quickly now. Next thing due for ignition is going to be getting a new distributor, distributor cap. But that's down the road. Then we've also got a new front grill. As you all know, I've got the XL, so it's got the just gray grill right now. Today we're going to be upgrading to the Chrome. Ooh la la. Here you can see our lovely new ignition wires. This thing looks like a high performance motor now. All we need is a blower sitting up here. Doing the ignition wire upgrade, we went from an 8 millimeter, which is the sock size, up to a nine millimeter and just doing that alone we went from 550 horsepower uh that's to the wheels not at the crank 550 wheel horsepower and we're now at 594. if you're at home working on your truck and you just want the answers i would go ahead and move your coolant reservoir i would also move the battery and i would take out the battery tray get them out of the way you're going to need a 10 millimeter an 11 millimeter and an eight millimeter socket. Taking off the grill looks fairly easy. It looks like we got some bolts here or some screws. And then I think there's just one right here and that's it. This, I have no idea. There are two here. I don't see any anywhere else. So we're gonna do some fumbling around on this one. We got the grill off. It was just five screws, four on, four on the top and then one down beneath the emblem. I got to thinking about how we were gonna figure out how to get the trim off of around the headlights and figured, well, we could just look at the new piece and see the mounting holes on there. So you got two on the bottom, two up top, and it looks like a couple on the side. I don't know if that just holds in the, the marker light or if that's for the actual bezel itself, but after far too long, I realized that you got to take out this whole headlight i'm sorry this marker light turn signal you got to take this whole thing out with this trim i guess so on the back side of this guy there's an 11 millimeter bolt you can kind of see that little hole down there this is the actual process you get it like two or three clicks at every single turn absolutely ridiculous so we're still on the driver's side of the car I can't tell but I've got my 
I don't know if you can see it, but my deep set socket is right there going straight towards the front of the truck. I think that's the other bolt, and then we should hopefully be able to pull this thing out. So I'm getting annoyed, so I'm just going to go, oop, almost said it, didn't say it, caught myself. Okay, regroup it is super annoying getting to this bolt that's back here, if that's even the bolt we're supposed to be going for, or the nut, but I'm going to take this guy off, so... To do that, you remove this bailing wire from a round bail, and then a couple of, or a screw over here, and it should come right off. That was an 11 millimeter bolt also, and I propped it up like that. I'm having to use an extension because the head of the ratchet itself was hitting right here, and it wasn't able to go in, so I'm using an extension. Just a couple of screws there and a screw there and then two nuts back here guess what size those are look at that look how much easier that is with that coolant reservoir out of there based off of how that driver's side went i'm just gonna remove this battery make it a lot easier passenger side is basically the same setup you got this one right here and you got the other one I don't know if you can see it, but down in that hole. After you remove the battery, you may as well go ahead and take out the... Gosh darn it. Go ahead. Sorry. After you remove the battery, you're going to want to remove this tray as well to get down here. The horn's in the way. This guy's in the way. But this one is a 10 millimeter. And then you got this 8 millimeter bolt on the side. And then these two, they are 10 millimeter. Look at all that glorious room in there. Taking off the emblem, putting it onto the new one. This is a 10 millimeter. I'm not sure if you can see it. I almost feel like the grill is crooked. If you look at that reveal right there, it's straight there. I'll pop a picture up right now of the old grill with the reveal showing it being straight. Looks like from here to there, it slopes down. I know that this piece is all boogered up, but before with the old grill, it was perfectly straight. That reveal was, and now it's chingolade. So I've always wondered why the headlight and all this stuff was all chingolade. All these tabs are broken on the back of this thing. This thing's basically being held together by tape right now. So I think it's time to order some new headlights. So we'll get that going. I really do feel like this thing is mismanufactured. So I'm gonna contact LMC truck and see what they have to say with LMC truck. They're gonna ship us out a new one They didn't give me any kickback or anything didn't ask to see pictures They just said all right, we'll set up a reship for you. And so they're shipping one out We should have it by middle to end of next week All right, a reward for those of you that made it to the end of the video. First person to comment razzle dazzle in the comments down below is gonna win $50. I will mail you $50. All you gotta do is comment razzle dazzle. First
first person only.